What is going on guys and welcome back to the second match vlog in 48 hours really last night we were at the video for Ireland versus Wales wasn't the greatest of games with Ireland still being and tonight we are here for Karate and Ireland and the mighty Bohemians and um, Ryan is back in South Africa there he is uh, no, uh, not very happy um, Killian is here as well say hello Killian Hello. Um, yeah, uh, guys, I've just you know, been along the adventure with Bows. Um, I'm going to predict, you know, I'm going to go predict a 1 0 win for Bows. Uh, we beat Liverpool 1 0 last time we were away from home, so I'm predicting something similar to happen today. Eddie Catlin goes close very early on, which is a great save. There's actually a real lot of Bows fans here today, which is quite surprising in my opinion. Yes, Strada's only down the road, but I was kind of surprised by the turnout. We have a corner now. We actually do. I even said this last. Like last week was like the first goal we scored in a corner this year, and the rest have been so bad. This one was terrible as well, as has been a free kick out. How to describe this game in the first few minutes? And um, kind of scrappy, if I'm honest. But we did have a chance with Paddy Kavna. But uh, obviously we didn't score, as you would know about it. Uh, I've just won a free kick for a pointless reason, in my opinion. If you guys can see glare off my glasses like there, it just sort of like beaten down on the Emerald Isle tonight, and it's absolutely like beautiful. The coach went on the lines today, yeah, beautiful weather we were playing. Oh my god, he went for goal! Got it every game, he went for goal today, like, crossing it in. A terrible free kick. Have a corner. So we have a goal here. Not a great game at all. 21 minutes gone. But a lot of hoops in the ball over the pitch from both sides, Josh and Bose. And but neither team can actually hang on to the ball for longer than 20 seconds. And um, there's actually a really good turnout from the ball over here. That's another free kick you got. Are you for real? The referee's been so boys drawn at the moment. But both fans are still in good voices. A lot of us here in this stand and second like where the terrace is and there's a lot of best chance of the game from a long throw and we just couldn't get a touch on it and all we had to do was tap it into the back of the net and it would have been so easy for the 1-0 up for the 1-0 up and I'll save you in our uh, new white and black hit with the you know absolutely stunning I think I'm in love with that white and black hit um, uh, Jordan just kind of I wouldn't say they're frustrating but she's just been terrible like, that um, Ireland game last night was terrible and this game is probably up there with being nearly as bad. Finally we get a chance for a talking about Toronto were in. They got the they, they already started celebrating the fans and they stick it wide. And then all he had to do was put it in the back of the net and he shanks it wide. I don't know how he did it. Like to be to, to miss from there as a footballer you must be either really terrible or really Really, you shouldn't play professional football at all. Remember that goalkeeper I was on about at the Norwich in Irish game between Coleraine and Irish? It was like sad, except for striking him. He shouldn't be playing football, let alone semi professional football after that miss. My god, it was shocking. Second half has gone underway, and then um, uh, hopefully it won't be as bad as the first because that first half was diabolical. Like, it was the, probably the worst half of football I've seen. I think that Ireland England game was probably going to be Shocking. I don't think any sub will be made by any either team. I didn't hear anything anyway. And the crowd still got lively even though it was a terrible first half performance. Hopefully the players can show us the same um, passion by getting a goal. Oh, they finally done something interesting in this first half. They've got a corner for once, like, really surprisingly because, like, the game has been pretty shoddy other than that draw the corner and the sub will save. Crowd is still in good voice around us. Uh, seems to keep long in his bed. Caught about to be swung in. From really weird angles, like a, there's a wall that kind of blocks you from trying to good run up. Yes! Oh, come on! Straight into the keeper's hands. Boys, Hayes tries to smash it in like he's David Beckham. And it's just not. Because if he was David Beckham, he wouldn't be playing at this football club. Oh, give it, give it, give it! Oh, yes! Have 
looks like the game is going to last five minutes. We're, we're starting to you know, create a bit of football. I play the ball around nicely. Oh! Oh! How are we not going to score? I don't even know what's going on. There's too many people in my way. Oh! said we've been the better side but we have we've been so indifferent like the greatest chances but we cannot finish like we should be finishing could be two or three in a row and sometimes we should be making simple pass like they're so easy as in like you know it straight away and we just haven't been doing it we haven't been doing the simple things well we're making things hard for ourselves in this game we should really be um the goal up hopefully we can make something before the end of the game because these three points could be absolutely huge balls of a free kick can we finally capitalize on something Lorcan Fitzgerald that looks terrible regular time and like oh I say there's gonna be about three or four minutes of additional time here just you know to try hold our nerves a bit longer and uh, we're still we're still playing well trying to get that second goal but just for all so you know starting to you know up the tempo of in these last few minutes to try to get that equalizer that would be a pressure equalizer for John so we're pretty sure they only have like oh I know they haven't done well I can't, it's not one point they have they only have a couple of points on the board and they this, uh, it would be massive for them Surely is it long left now for both to hang on for a fight to win at United Park. Honestly, this game is so much better than the um, on a Wales game. And then both teams have a chance, especially Bowles. have had a lot of chances this game, but we did get one in the end. Drada looked to, you know, pull on the pressure in these last few minutes. But a pass the ball back for no apparent reason. Over outside, but it's not given. I have no idea what's going on. Because you know, there's too many tall people in front of me. It's still over the end. It's a strong throwing. You see Killian in the background. He smiles because he I said Killian's in the background. What a game, boys and girls. Both claim victory with 15 minutes to go. You know, it's part. A stunning performance by the boys. Pressure after the pressure of attacks and both secure a 1 0 victory, a 5 to a 1 0 victory, and it sends it into the European places for now. Rovers lost tonight as well, which makes the night so, so much better. Oh, what a, what a performance by the lads. The first time was absolutely terrible. We turned it around the leg up, the game turned us out on his head. It was much better than the Ireland game last night. That Ireland game was terrible compared to this. Crap! All sorts, but Dan Burn with that hair with a lovely ball in by Lorca Fitzgerald gave us all three points at United Park. First away day at United Park, done and dusted, and three points in the bag. A complete performance by the, the lads. And we go back to Dalier with three points at the bag for the massive double derby of Pats next weekend. That's it for another Bohemians vlog, guys. And what a vlog of what a winning at United Park by a goal to nil. As always, guys, share the video around social media, give the video a like, and remember, subscribe.